Hannah Gatormson and Stephanie Lowry spend about 22 hours a week training with the provincial paddling team. They're getting ready for a summer of racing high kneel canoe across the country. It's basically my life and it's just something that I dropped everything else for and it's just like my favorite thing to do and it just like a challenge every every practice to like push myself harder. The team trains twice a day, five days a week. When the race course is frozen in the winter, the team does weight training, winter sports, and goes on a month-long training camp in Florida. Their coach, Jerome Saramac, says all this training is crucial because of how difficult it is to control and race in boats this skinny. I just make that boat go. It takes about a good two years of hard training just to basically be able to keep it straight. Hannah Gatormson has been competing in women's canoe for the past three years. She's won multiple national medals, including winning a silver medal at nationals for doubles canoe with Lowry last summer. Now the girls, along with athletes across the country, are preparing to compete for spots on the Canadian team at Junior Worlds. But they cannot take their sport to the 2016 Olympics because it is not an Olympic sport, something Gatormson wants to see change. A lot of people think women's canoe isn't the Olympics because we're women and they like to joke about that and think that women aren't capable when we are capable and we just need to like, show awareness, get the sport going. Men's canoe is an Olympic sport, but the International Olympic Committee has not included women's canoe. They say it's because there aren't enough countries with competitive programs. They've already announced it will not be added to the 2016 Games, but Gatormson thinks 2020 will be the year because the sport's popularity is growing quickly around the world. If it could be in the Olympics, I'd love to go to the first Olympics for women's canoe. I think that would be amazing and just a wonderful experience. Women's canoe has only been in the International Canoe Federation World Championships for two years. And there are already more than 20 countries competing and sending athletes to the Games. Women Can International believes this growth warrants a spot in the Summer Olympics. They have circulated an online petition that has gained nearly 6,000 signatures so far. As the sport is developing, there are women around the world petitioning the IOC to add women's canoe to the Olympics. If you want more information on that, you can look up Women's Canoe International. For Shaw TV's Go Winnipeg, I'm Rachel Swatek.